Well, hey guys. So for today's video, I wanted to come in and show you guys my morning skincare routine. Ever since my skincare haul, I've obviously tried out some different products and some new products. And you all know me at this point from watching my daily vlogs. I really um, value a minimalistic approach to skincare with an emphasis on skin hydration and sun protection. I think those are the critical tenets in a skincare routine and ne negligence of either is a setup for failure. So my skincare routine is very, very simple and focuses on those tenants. Um, if you're new here, welcome. My name is Andrea. I'm a dermatologist. And for the most part, I film day in the life of a dermatologist vlogs, um, as well as sit down um, videos focused on a specific skincare topic. And today I wanted to share with you all my morning skincare routine and go through the products that I'm using. And you'll see it's very, very simple. Now, this is my morning skincare routine. I also do a similar, I also have a nighttime skincare routine that I plan on uploading later this week. Um, so stay tuned for that. And uh, with that, let's get started. So these are all the products that I use every morning in my morning skincare routine. First up, these are the hair clips that I use to get my hair out of my face. And I also use a hair band. I like these from Lululemon because uh, they have a liner that uh, is nice on the hair shaft and doesn't uh, ruffle my hair or contribute to frizziness. Um, and this is the face wash that I use, the Neutrogena Oil Free Acne Wash, which has 2% salicylic acid in it. I then come in with the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Gel Cream, and I allow that to dry. And then after I apply that, I then follow it up with a broad spectrum uh, sunscreen. I like this one by Neutrogena. This is also very moisturizing. And then I also use an additional sunscreen by Elta MD, the UV Physical Broad Spectrum SPF 41 that is lightly tinted. This is zinc titanium dioxide exclusively. And I like it because the tint has an ingredient called iron oxide in it, which can block some of the wavelengths of visible light that contribute to dark spots and melasma. So combined with a broad spectrum sunscreen all over my face and then this tint, as sort of a makeup, it really, really, really gives me great sun protection and helps prevent any dark spots from either getting worse or from making more dark spots. And then I use this CeraVe Healing Ointment next on my lips as a, as a chapstick, essentially. And then my mascara, which is the Maybelline Colossal. And I'll be sure and link all of these below for you guys in the description box. Um, and so, so make sure you look there. So before I get started, I just go ahead and pin back my hair from the night before with these clamps that I like so much that don't pull on the hair shaft. I just lightly twist the back of my hair. And uh, this serves to get the hair out of my face, as well as to give my hair a little bit of body for styling purposes uh, for the day. So you can see how I have it twisted. Nothing particularly fancy. And then I also come in with this hairband to further get any little wispies out of my face before I get started. So the very first step is going to be to wash my face using the Neutrogena Oil Free Facial Wash that has 2% salicylic acid in it. This is an ingredient that quickly dissolves into the oil bearing surfaces of the skin um, when left on the skin for a few minutes. Um, it also removes any um, sun damaged skin cells from the day before. It um, has anti-inflammatory properties. It's fantastic for acne. It can inhibit some of the biology of pigment cells that leads to discoloration. It can remove sun damaged skin cells that potentially contribute to skin cancers and photo aging of the skin. So I really enjoy this product in the morning as a facial, as a gentle facial wash. So the first step is to get my water running to a lukewarm temperature. You never ever want to wash your face with scalding hot water or steam as this dilates the blood vessels in the face, draws inflammation in the skin, and desiccates the surface layer by, by rapidly stripping the natural oil. Now to my wet face, I'm going to use approximately one fingertip unit of the face wash, which extends from my middle finger tip to the first line on my finger here, if you can tell. And I just gently in soft circles, the oil bearing surfaces of my skin around my nose, and my forehead. I don't need a lot of this. I don't use a harsh scrub, just gentle circular motions of my finger pads will dislodge any cells that have turned over and gotten stuck on the way out overnight. 
while we sleep, our skin repairs itself and regenerates. And by using a gentle salicylic acid face wash in the morning, it can help remove those cells and help give the skin a brighter, healthier appearance. Salicylic acid is well tolerated in darker skin types. It tends to not be irritating and it's very gentle. It also has some natural antibacterial and antifungal properties. I lightly use my finger pads and I'm letting it really just kind of soak into those oil glands. I don't use any scrubbing brushes or scrub exfoliants because when you scrub the surface of the skin, it says, ouch, ouch, and inflammation comes into the skin, worsens acne, worsens discoloration, leads to dryness and water loss, leaving the skin parched and discolored. So I don't do any of that. Okay, so now I'm just going to rinse my face with lukewarm water. So the next step is I come in with the Neutrogena Hydra Boost Gel Cream. I really love this. It's fragrance-free. It, it won't break you out. I like to put this on wet skin. The purpose of this step is to trap any water onto the skin before it evaporates out, thus retarding transepidermal water loss from the skin. When we cleanse the skin, we impair the skin barrier, and compensatorily, we lose water from the skin, something called transepidermal water loss. And so by quickly putting this nice hydrating gel cream onto the surface of the wet skin, it locks in some of that water and slows it down. I get it on my neck as well. It's very, very soothing. Hyaluronic acid is a molecule in the deeper layers of our skin. It kind of looks like a Swiffer sweeper arm. And it's got tendrils and, and threads on it that glom onto water molecules. Theoretically, this product has that in it in a, in a manner that also allows it to glom onto water molecules on the surface of the skin. This also has glycerin in it, as well as dimethicone, which are emollients and humectants that further help soften the skin and help slow down transepidermal water loss. And at this point, I then allow my skin to dry because the next step is going to be to come in with my hydrating sunscreen that is water resistant and needs to form a protective film. So I want to make sure that my skin is a little bit dry but yet hydrated. Okay, so now that my skin is hydrated yet dry, I'm ready to come in with my moisturizing sunscreen. This is the sunscreen that I've been using all over my face, ears, and neck, and upper chest now for the past several weeks, and I'm really enjoying it. It's probably not the best sunscreen out there. It's the Neutrogena Ultra Sheer Dry Touch SPF 100+. This is a chemical sunscreen, however, so it needs to form a film on the surface of the skin before it's effective. In other words, it needs to be applied 20 minutes prior to going outdoors. And if you're interested in what the difference between chemical sunscreens, physical sunscreens, and combination sunscreens are, I'll be sure and link a Q&A that I did previously below where I address this topic and clarify the differences. Do know, however, that chemical sunscreens, not only do they need to be applied 20 minutes before going outdoors, but they contain um, filters to filter out different wavelengths of ultraviolet, um, wa ultraviolet radiation can sometimes be irritating to individuals and um, also degrade with time. So these products need to be replaced every three years approximately. But I go through these quite quickly and I have really actually been enjoying this one by Neutrogena. So I'm going to continue to use it. Um, I can also list down some other sunscreens below that I've used and loved in this routine. But sunscreen is a very important component of an everyday skincare routine. This is how much sunscreen that I'm going to be applying to my entire face, ears, my entire neck, and my upper chest area. The reason that sun protection is so important is that ultraviolet radiation, regardless of your skin color or type, generates free radicals in the skin that age the skin, drives discoloration. Furthermore, it suppresses the part of the immune system, protects us against skin cancers, while simultaneously bringing in parts of the immune system that drive chronic inflammation, that weaken the deeper layers of the skin, that annihilate our deep collagen framework, 
and contribute to wrinkles. Very important to make sure you put sunscreen on your neck and your ears. Many people ask me about spray sunscreens or if their makeup sunscreen is enough. No, it's not. You're not going to be putting makeup on these areas. You want a very uniform layer as best as you're able to all surfaces. You also want to make sure you get around the eyes. I tolerate this around the eyes, but many people say it stings. So you may want to play around with some different sunscreens. Just find the one that works best for you. But don't skip this step. Regardless of your skincare routine, inadequate sun protection will render whatever interventions you're pursuing or whatever aesthetic you're pursuing essentially inactive and useless. This is critical. All right, so now you can see how nicely that rubbed in. It's very moisturizing and very hydrating. And so the next step that I do is to come in with an additional sunscreen. And this, this is one that I have used for many, many years. It is L to MD UV Physical Broad Spectrum SPF 41. This is zinc titanium dioxide only. It's very, um, it's very easy to apply. It's tinted, so it masks any white film from any residual sunscreen that you may notice if you're a darker skin type. The other reason that I like this product is that within the tint, it has an ingredient called iron oxide that can protect against some of the broader wavelengths of visible light that we are now learning contribute to melasma and dark spots. So I really like this. And many people ask me why I put on two layers of sunscreen. And the reason is all of the studies that we have on how people apply sunscreen show that most people, including myself, we really don't get a good layer. So I think of it kind of like painting the walls in your home. Um, you have a good base layer, but you want to follow it up with a few coats to prevent any streaky, streaking and unevenness. I like coming in with this tinted one. Admittedly, I don't put this all over my neck and ears. I probably should, but I mostly focus it on areas where I'm prone to dark marks around my eyes. Okay, now that I've got all of my moisturizer and sunscreen on and my skin is hydrated and ready really to go out and face the day at this point, um, the next step that I do is to come in with a CeraVe Healing Ointment. I absolutely love this product. 46.5% petrolatum, so it's a skin protectant. It also has an ingredient in it called ceramides, which are a natural component of our skin barrier. And as we age or in people who have a tendency towards dry skin, ceramides can become a little bit deficient. Um, so this product is really fantastic on the lips, especially if you have a tendency towards dry chapped lips. It seals them, it hydrates them, and brings out the natural color of your lips quite nicely and smooths them out. And then lastly, pretty much the only makeup that I use is mascara. And <laughs> you can't really even see the label anymore, but it's the Maybelline Colossal Mascara in black that I use. Um, I don't care for waterproof mascara, but their waterproof mascara is also quite good. Um, and so I just use that on the lashes. And I can tell you on a given day, because I film myself doing this every day for you guys in my daily vlogs, that when I'm not talking to you and I'm just doing it, from start to finish, the entire routine takes me 6 minutes and 30 seconds. And that's basically it. Alright. So I'll be sure and link all of these products in the description box below. Comment below on what your favorite sunscreen is because I love learning from you guys about all the different types of sunscreen. I'll include some additional favorites of my own uh, for you to try out uh, and experiment with. I encourage you if you're buying uh, new skincare products to, to try out to keep your receipt and be sure and take them back if they don't agree with your skin so you don't lose your money. Most stores are very very um, reasonable in that regard. I hope you found this video helpful. Give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.